Hey, welcome to I Have Notes, where people with surprisingly full IMDb pages talk about the creative process, the animation industry, and Carrie's ponytail. I'm your host, Issa <laughs> Bediola, and here with me is my co-host. Ponytail. I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, Carrie Shawcross. And we've also got Aaron and Jordan. Hello. We're back, Hello. baby. Hi, you can't get rid of us. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to. We're Most here to stay. What a, what a nice positive thing you just said. I We're am all about happy positivity. with one of you oh. and unhappy with the other, and we'll just leave it at that. Oh, no. Is it, is it the bobblehead Gus that you're happy it's... with? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was the bobblehead Gus and Aaron's cats the whole time. Too I'm bad a... they're not in the shot. I've, yeah, been trying, I've been trying to put like new uh, like items from our shows in the background every week. <laughs> the first week was like this uh, rejected RTX poster with Nikki on it. And then it was story. it was oh, the figurines okay. from Camp Camp, and now it's uh, the Gus bobblehead. But uh, I, I'm kind of running out of things, so. <laughs> oh, it should uh, still be Gus, but I might have like to a start. Knife. I have to start buying stuff. I think. <laughs> How many amiibos knife. do you have? Can you put a collection behind you? Yeah, but we don't make any amiibos. Like it's not Rooster Teeth start... animation related <laughs> amiibos. You can hand paint them. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Remember love. that weird Bungo thing Pops. where. It's, where the amiibos were opening like uh the turnstiles in like the russian uh the moscow subway or something what? did what? you see that when amiibos first came out yeah um they would like take the base with the little like i don't know the reader part and like the nfc put it, chip thing yeah put it up against the where you would like scan your subway card um your transit card and then it yeah. would just open the turnstile yeah what that's amazing <laughs> yep was this what? specific character like did Mario open it? Like, <laughs> oh my god! Donkey mm. Kong, the Kremlin yeah. comes or whatever. I don't know anything about Russia. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if it was character specific, but that would have been really funny. And finally, something I can do with all of my amiibos. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they finally have yeah. purpose. They're not just collecting dust on your shelves. Oh. Yeah. It's okay. Have you okay. used any of the amiibos for like Animal Crossing or like this specific like? uh villager cards the cards i haven't yet i've also do you have any yeah i do i'm also ashamed <laughs> of it i haven't played animal crossing in like two weeks <gasps> i just kind of fell i know hey this is the, that's okay this i haven't started fourth, this is the fourth week in a row that i forgot to buy turnips uh, <laughs> and i think that has been like the the demotivating factor uh, that and i started turn... playing final fantasy 7 oh, uh, remake. oh okay. so yeah that'll that do kind it. of yeah kind of has consumed me uh, I, my soul. this is an interesting trend i'm noticing every every new episode there's always another game that carrie is playing <laughs> yeah it's almost like i can't make up my fucking mind <laughs> every game all the time because i'm also still playing fun Fantasy 14 yeah. i'm playing a little bit of shovel knight because mm. i never beat it and mm -hmm. i wanted to now uh and i'm playing yeah Final Fantasy 7 r there's something else i can't remember what it was now so yeah too many games too little time <laughs> I should be doing better things with my life. No. I'm still just playing Animal Crossing. How many hours do I have? I'm going to check real quick. Oh, God. That was a question that Wait, everyone was asking today. Yeah. How's, how's, uh, I didn't check anymore? for sure. Let me see. Oh, God. How's everyone else doing? Aaron, how was your week so far? Or last it week? Has been, it's, been, it's been pretty good. Uh, yeah. Not work-related, but I signed the lease to my new apartment. Yay! So I'll be moving out of here soon. Yeah. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Congrats. New background. Thanks. New background. I have to DM. Hopefully, there won't it... be boxes and stuff. I have to DM yeah. you later just so I can figure out where you live. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I could just tell you. Yeah. Also, also. Can not you... right now. Not now. Yeah. That's why. Uh... <laughs> can you take a blank picture of your background so we can put you on a green screen <laughs> and like still have you there until the yeah. new episode? Yes. Yes, of course. Uh, two hundred and five hours, by the Good way. Good job, oh Jordan. My God. Good job, Jordan. Yeah. That's a lot of hours. That's not even as much as uh, where's uh? Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild only one hundred and fifty hours. Oh, so okay, okay. I'm okay. somewhere in there. Animal Crossing knows that. Wow. Yeah. How's everybody How's else every... doing? Yeah, how Jordan. Was, how was Mother's Gary, Day Issa? for everyone? Oh, oh, it was good. Yeah. Okay. Did y'all actually go to your mother's? No. Oh. <laughs> My mom is very far away, so I was uh, not able to. Fair. But um, we did like a family FaceTime thing that was pretty fun. So Aww. that was nice. Um, uh, uh, one funny thing was um, 
I couldn't like go get a card for her. So like I for the first time like tried like e cards, nice. and uh, I just googled like, um, you know Mother's Day e cards, and there were a couple services that were like free, but they were just kind of shitty. And uh, Hallmark had a really good one with this like video that was really sweet and stuff, and oh. and it was minions. They, they made <laughs> they made it seem like it was a free service. Uh-oh. So you personalize it, you get ready to send it, and then it's like, hey, five bucks a month, you can send as many <gasps> e cards as you want. And I'm like, I just want to send one. Ever. Yeah. Um, so no, I don't want to do that. But turns out they have pretty lackluster coding security. So I was able to uh, right click save as the video that I wanted. <laughs> Oh my god, I legit, I was so ready for you to just say, start saying something like, I hacked into the system, and I was like, Jordan, that's I mean, illegal! Kind of, kind of, sort of hacked it, I mean, but what I, then I put it in Premiere and, like, um, uh, put the message I wanted, like, in the middle of the video. Oh my god. So it was like, instead of, like, a video and then the e-card message in an email, I just sent the whole video, because I just made it one big, like, video card, so... That's I changed seventy five percent of it so that it's technically my IP. Now. <laughs> there you go. Creative uh, process, hey, boom. Jordan, that's a great way to segue into uh, our first sponsor, Hallmark. Uh, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Just right click it. That's their, that's their motto. Uh, good. Good. <laughs> Look, they they I'll, it's because I'll they pay got them you. five dollars once if they like come after me yeah. to make amends. <laughs> Cut to three years police. later. Jordan's in jail, <laughs> filming from the big house. The big house. Nice, nice. Uh, don't come after me, please. Oh, you'll be fine. Isa, Isa, how was? Oh, hang on, wait. Uh, Jordan, can we just keep saying allegedly, please? Allegedly. Cool. Okay, we're good. Isa, how was? Soundboard. Your week? Soundboard. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to think of the significant things I did. I had a very good dinner. It's getting harder and harder to do that, huh? Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's it's something like like a something very happy or special to me happened on Saturday. Um, nice. But it's like it's personal, you know. So it's like oh, I don't want to talk about it. No worries. This it's fine. But it's an anniversary, is... so I was really happy. Nice. Um, and then this is a safe space to either share or know that it's okay not to share. Thanks, and Carrie. That's fine. Like your ponytail. Look. You have to share your ponytail. I, the world is not ready for my <laughs> ponytail. You can get a glimpse of it here and there, but it's. Let me tell it's you. Special. It's gonna be glorious. I just need a couple more inches. Okay. Been saying it most of my life. Height. I'm talking about. Height. <laughs> just to be clear. I'm I'm five seven on a good day. Um, <laughs> Uh, I have kind of a spooky story. <gasps> if y'all would hear my spooky story. story. I'm so excited. Yeah, spooky please. Mother's Day All right. story. So, it's Saturday. And I thought, hey, you know what? My patio has been a mess for a long time. It has a lot of, like, spider webs. Uh-oh. Let me, let me get out there. I'm going to hose it down. I'm going to spray some spider poison. I'm sorry, Spideys, but this is my house. Uh, What's my patio? It's The rest of it's yours. It's just my patio that I would like. <laughs> back um and i do that and that's like working okay and then i have these like four plastic chairs that are stacked in the yard and they've fallen over because of the wind Mm -hmm. and i thought oh let me wash those off so i like i sprayed them down a little bit Mm -hmm. stood them up picked one up and under it is a spider like this big (gasps) oh god just like staring at me i'm like six inches away from it so obviously i do what most people would do i scream i immediately (laughs) run 10 feet in the other direction and uh text my roommate to come down because i was scared Uh (laughs) um because that's like the normal thing to do uh then i spent about five minutes trying to figure out how to kill it because i was like do i do like water no i'm not gonna do that uh because i i need to make sure that it's gonna die right I'm sorry. I'm not gonna. I, spiders freak me out. I can't do it. Uh, but then I found from about two and a half Halloweens ago, uh, Austin Hardwick, oh. his costume involved a golf club that he just left in my backyard <laughs> and got like half buried. Oh. So I found that. <laughs> what? And let's just say, home run. Oh my God. <laughs> home run. Home run. I did it. I killed that big boy. Uh, I did give him well, a proper burial. 
What kind of spider was it? Was it just like a wolf spider or something? I don't Big know. Ass what spider. is it? It was a bad one. Carrie didn't have a net to catalog it, so yeah. <laughs> Do, yeah, donate that shit to like? Blathers, man. Oh God, why am I looking at pictures of spiders now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it might have been a wolf spider. I can't tell. Whoa. Yeah, I saw one of those outside my house the other day. I was taking my trash out and walked back, and it was like in my driveway. I was like, wide berth around, <laughs> yeah. please. I tr- I try to like let things just be, but like my patio, like it looked like it was like Halloween decorated with how many like uh, <laughs> spider uh, webs there like were, like spider webs and stuff around <laughs> it. Yeah, so I was like, oh, I'm God. just gonna reset. They can come back. It's fine. Uh, if they, so that if was they my dare. scary. If they dare, because you know what? Now that golf club propped up. Yeah, it's there. It's it's a sign. Oh, no. Austin yeah. Hardwick has left you a gift. <laughs> yeah, and Even who knew? If he's two years later. Japan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can also use it to practice uh, your swing. Yeah. Your it's a driver, so it's pretty, you know. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Take I, that to. Yeah. Take it to the I can ranges. See how far I can hit the next spider. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say home run. Hit it like over your yard into the next yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> well, because, no, see, this one, that's the thing, though. Is I have this like phobia that like if I don't kill it and it gets away, I'm like, he's coming for me now. Vengeance, like vengeance, is on the spider's mind. That's how my mind works. Uh, so I was like, this thing has to die, <laughs> or else no. like, it's like I'm gonna like wake up with it on my face or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, so I don't know. I think people are probably. Hopefully nobody's mad at me that I killed the spider, but it scared me. I'm sorry. That's scary. That's spooky. It was spooky. Mm-hmm. That's so spooky. It was a little spooky and kooky. It was a little spooky because I picked up the chair. I was like, man, I hope there's not a spider under this. Holy oh, shit. No. It's the biggest <laughs> spider I myself have ever seen in person. Oh, oh no. God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. So that was my weekend. Oh. Oh, anybody watch anything interesting? You still watching mm-hmm. Tower of God, Aaron? Actually, it missed last week's episode. Ooh. So I'm technically one episode behind now. <gasps> Yeah, I know. It's okay. I haven't episodes? watched it anymore. You should. It is quite fun. <laughs> I love it. How many episodes are out so far? Uh, five or six. Okay. Okay. Five or six. One of the, one of those. I think five. I'm gonna say five. <laughs> Let's go with five. Nice. Someone's gonna correct you. I know. Oh, well, is actually, Aaron even a true friend? Uh, oh. uh, actually, I, they're gonna be too busy being mad at me for killing a spider probably oh maybe it's okay Kay. it's good yeah, yeah. This that, is that'll, the, be, this... that'll be the controversy yeah this is the portion where we just talk about all the all of our controversies <laughs> so yeah. people get outraged all at once yeah um i finally finished watching cells at work actually because it's oh. Oh. yeah the ending it was one of those things where the last two episodes uh, it covers uh spoilers a hemorrhage or <gasps> a very Spooky. bad wound um that's spooky it was it was so i was so distraught and i kind of turned to my roommate and i was just like whoa i i just came here to have a, i just came here to have a good time <laughs> <laughs> yeah attacked right now so so that work is great um the dubs are really good too and i've been making my roommate watch gallivant as well if you guys have watched that oh before. my god i've seen like some of that oh my god that's an older show right yeah it is uh, not like older, older but it's been it's on in the, the background at my house. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> we talked this last time, but it's I feel like funny. this has been like prime rewatch time. It, it is. is. Yeah. Rewatches yeah, are I good because they're very comforting and you know what <laughs> you're going to get. So yeah. you can choose what suits your mood. I. Uh, That's true. I, I think I saw a thing on Reddit about that where uh, they think they did like a study that people with uh, high anxiety tend to prefer to rewatch shows because they know what they're in for. Yep. Yeah. That's Versus interesting. Like wanting to experience new things. And I definitely, yeah. I felt that where I'm like, I don't have it in me tonight to like experience a new thing. I just want something that I know is going to mm-hmm. be good. Huh? I feel like I, I don't, I don't usually rewatch stuff. Uh, I think the only thing I've watched a whole bunch over and over again is the rest of development. I think I've rewatched that show. Like, four times oh, through wow. the entire series uh i've watched game of thrones a couple times not all of it but like from like season one through four to like catching people up and like watching it with them and stuff mm-hmm. um but uh i i i always feel like i would rather not watch anything than rewatch something which is <laughs> just i could i could spend the time 
of me waffling trying to find something new just rewatching something again <laughs> yeah but like for some reason i think it's a better use of my time to watch something new for the first time i don't know it's also fair it's a weird if like time efficiency thing that really doesn't even out at all because <laughs> it's like if i can't find something new to watch i'll watch nothing but all that time i could have just been watching something i know i like so i don't know there's stuff i, I want to rewatch. like i want to rewatch breaking bad again oh. and like experience that all the way through yeah um sopranos i have like i've watched like the first two seasons like once or twice but i need to like start it over again because it's been a while and then um i love the wire i want to rewatch the wire all the way through again um that show is super good all these things i need to watch (laughs) terrible (laughs) same Uh, don't worry i've i've uh the wire has been on my list but i know that is actually like a very high intense kind of drama show or it, it has a lot of the one thing i learned about the wire was you have to watch the wire you can't just put it on in the background if you want right. to actually understand yeah no happening. it's not a background show yeah. yeah uh so this is interesting c- in concerning the wire and that like um in college uh i took a course that was basically we watched tv uh we were ch- and we discuss the tv show that we watched um and in uh, my semester, we had watched the first seasons of Mad Men and The Sopranos, and we had to like oh. uh, a, their oh, midterm man, and their final man. exam yeah. was like um like write an essay on what you think the uh, on anything about the shows like whether you want to cover like feminist theory in one of them. One of my topics for The Sopranos was how they use camera. Um, mm-hmm in one of the episodes where Tony, like, le- like we see for the first time Tony kill a man, and mm. that actually, writing that essay made me turn, made me, like, completely rethink The Sopranos after that. I was just like, oh, <laughs> wait, this this show's wild, and I totally preferred watching The Sopranos season one over Mad Men after that. Um, but one of the things that my teacher had said from that semester was that he had showed, she had, she had shown The Wire season one for um, mm-hmm. one class, and uh, my school had a lot of international students uh, sign up for the course, and they eventually told him, like, hey, we need to actually watch this with um, with subtitles because no oh, one could understand yeah. really what everyone was saying because there was so much information. So I thought that was oh, a really wow. interesting topic. Or, like, uh, kind of the whole, like, oh, do you put subtitles on versus not? And then The Wire tends to be, like, my go-to example of maybe you should watch it with subtitles, <laughs> even if it's in English. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. I... I always waffle on like which ones I should, which shows I should watch with subtitles or not. Mm. Like sometimes like subtitles help if people are talking funny, like Mm -hmm. uh, Dairy Girls, like I have to watch it with (laughs) Uh, uh, subtitles because of their, their accents. Yeah. Um, But like, I found that like watching Game of Thrones with uh, subtitles is actually really helpful for like learning everybody's names and stuff. Oh, one hundred percent. But watching it for the first time, like an episode for the first time, I kind of didn't like it because I was always like found myself reading more than watching. Mm. So it, it's it's a weird like balance thing that like I don't know I can't. It just I, it just varies. I have a kind of a similar thing is because uh, I've been for a while now I've been like uh, I have like a tutor and like I'm trying to learn Japanese. Mm-hmm. And uh, so when I started playing Final Fantasy VII Remake, I actually picked Japanese as the audio, um, which means that there's subtitles for everything, which is awesome because it's like yeah. I'm starting like, oh, I know what they said or like I'm picking up on like little things here and there. But it also means that, yeah, I'm constantly even in battle sometimes having to like look down and read it. And I'm like, oh, oh no, like I'm, I'm missing out. I've never had to do that for a game before. Um, like have it be like live like that. It's usually like, if it's subtitled or if it's like text, it's like in a cutscene or something. So yeah, it's been that's interesting. interesting. Hmm. When I was watching, I wonder... oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Oh, uh, when I was watching Castlevania season one, um, for some reason, like the first episode or two is like really hard to understand them. So I definitely had to turn on like subtitles for them. Yes, yeah. It's like mm-hmm. I w- would hear the words, but I wouldn't like comprehend them. It was just like really bizarre, and it, I don't even think their <laughs> accents are that like heavy or anything. Mm-hmm. It was really weird. But by like the next few episodes it was fine i didn't need them anymore there there was something interesting adjust. yeah <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> there was something interesting uh, about castlevania especially the first couple of episodes because the perf- the way they do the performances is like so varied um uh 
what is uh, the main character Beaumont? Um, uh, Trevor. Trevor, yes. Dracula. Nice, good one. <laughs> yes. They, they they really the actors and the actresses really go from like super quiet and they kind of stay in that range in my opinion and then then it becomes like a huge action scene so it's kind of like oh man I I definitely have to watch that one with subtitles I got you. Yeah. I guess I'm just getting old. I pretty much just put subtitles on anywhere that I can. That's also fair. Yes. That's yeah. just it's just what I do now. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I guess I watch like Let's Plays it, though. So it it helps process like the dialogue and stuff a lot more. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Um, but uh, something uh, you mentioned, Issa, like talking about um, university, got me thinking about. Uh, did you see all the stuff going on with? Uh, scad oh yeah uh, should we yes. should we talk about this i think that'd be good to talk about yeah, yeah. you know that's a that's a valid point that's a yeah. valid Aaron, point Aaron, like, you are start, a scad uh, alum right yeah i am <laughs> fortunately or unfortunately um well i don't know like if we should start off with saying like where we all went to school if we did oh yeah that's a good idea. yeah yeah so, that's okay. also only, a only... question i get a lot personally yeah do it. O- only oh. half of the screen went yes. to school. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me and Isa yeah. both went to art school. <laughs> to be fair. These two. So there's, yes. There's two of us with a degree. Not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm not anti. I was going to college for programming, so I. which I think yes. makes a lot more sense to get a degree for. Awesome. Yes. Uh, and then I got this opportunity and said, fuck that. Um, <laughs> but I'm not anti college. But I just, yeah, yeah I just went to. Uh, uh, I got some college credits in high school, like everybody does now. And then I went to two different, three different community colleges. Mm. Wow. Wow. Hey, you know what? College I moved, sometimes I moved isn't for everybody. Yeah. 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 It definitely wasn't for me. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, I didn't actually totally know. Fair. Where'd you, where'd you go to school for? I was not a declared major yet. Okay. Um, I only went for like a semester. Um, gotcha. And like, I just found it like, it just, yeah, it just wasn't for me. Like, I didn't like the lack of structure like compared to it oh, like weird. high school and stuff yeah mm-hmm. like i didn't like i guess being held accountable or like being too independent <laughs> i don't so, like being like, an adult <laughs> yeah it's like, they really throw you into it they do yeah. yeah it's just like show up or don't we don't care uh <laughs> okay um but uh yeah i i don't know i just felt like i remember having a, a thought uh in one of the classes being like i can't believe i gotta like do this for like four years before i can start (laughs) doing what i want to do and so i stopped going and just started doing what i wanted to do Uh, (laughs) which was which was writing and and uh eventually like animation and stuff and i did i ended up doing like some like projects here and there that like help general experience like i it didn't like wasn't a huge help or anything but like you know i just i just started immersing myself into things like i wanted to do yeah it's funny i did i wouldn't wouldn't say it's better but it's what i did i did almost the exact same thing about like realizing like am i really gonna do this for four more years uh but it was for a couple more months and it was uh preschool i dropped out of preschool oh my god Um, (laughs) so that really started my rough start i just have this very vivid memory of walking in uh to like my parents bedroom uh, after like coming home from preschool one day, I'm being like, "Mom, I don't want to go to preschool anymore." Wow. And like we had a conversation about it, and she was like, "Okay." Wow. And look wow. where I am now. <laughs> Drop out of pre-K, kids. <laughs> so uh, I... I'm just kidding. Okay, the smart people should talk now. Um, yeah. <laughs> to to be transparent, I'm pretty sure Aaron and I both have uh, bachelors in fine arts, and we also have yeah, minors. BFAs. We both have minors. Yep. Yes. Um, I graduated with a BFA in animation and a minor with creative writing. And Aaron, what did wow. what did you get? Uh, I majored in sequential art, so it's like comics, storyboarding, concept art, etc. And then I minored mm-hmm. in video or concept art for video games. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah. And wait, Aaron, or, uh, I'm sorry, Issa, where'd you go to school? I went to California College of the Arts in okay. previously Oakland, California. If you look them up. CCA, they are based in San Francisco. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, they, they just the move across the bridge. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> they've they've been uh, it's been in process for the longest time. Okay. I've, um, and when I was still there, our our degree was actually in Oakland. Um, so we were in the older campus, and then they had moved the new campus over to like some warehouses in San Francisco. But even then, I was like, we had transport and shuttles between the two campuses if only because like mm-hmm. you know some cl- classes are there a lot of the illustration 
um, showcases are there. Uh, I okay. Here's here's a take <laughs> I have with the whole art art school thing, and I will admit that I am coming at this from a person who has graduated from art school already. Mm-hmm, sure. I have debt. Um, I have debt from art school. My parents also have some of my debt from art school. Oh, it's no. a thing, you know, it's whatever. Sure, sure. So uh, there's this person who um, put this on their tweet. They have this thread that I know of, um, uh, a thread of discourse on Twitter. And the way she summarized <laughs> this current one was, people are mad about a for-profit private art school that is optional to attend, is trying to make profit. <laughs> 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 that's definitely fair i or i could uh yeah. wait should we maybe recap? summarize like what, yeah what yeah. what's happening right now so uh from from what i've seen uh someone highlighted a passage in an email that uh savannah college of art and design had sent out to all their students uh and the interpretation was that they were guilting people into not opting out for um a semester did i do i read that correctly yeah like or? a break semester yeah, yeah because ba- they basically said it oh, yeah. like percentages like yeah that. they're like oh it, you shouldn't like consider skipping out on the semester because right. students who do are more likely to not like finish college finish school yeah. Yeah. so they're kind of yeah, like they, guilt tripping almost. Yeah, they, 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 they cited data that an off year will lead you would has a higher chance to lead you to not graduate exactly uh, yeah. or an off semester um and which to, yeah. like the the data there is like a one digit percentage. Let's yeah, it's like five. <laughs> yeah, they it, it was there. It was just one yeah. digit, but um, it it did blow up and it started the art school discourse again about yeah. whether yeah. or not art school is uh, going it. to school for art is worth. Yeah. it. Yeah, there's a similar discourse also involving an art school. Um, SVA. I like this word discourse. Discourse. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good. I like discourse. Yes. Yeah, the School of Visual Arts in New York has is a similar doing a similar thing where they send out an email saying um, semesters are going to be shorter, like it's going to be 12 weeks instead of 15. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Th- but the passing period in between classes is like 15 minutes instead of 20. And each class is like an hour or longer. Um, but it's Whoa. still like the same tuition price. So technically, I think some students like figured out like, oh, we're actually getting less time with our professors or in class, mm-hmm. but we're still paying the same amount. Mm-hmm. So that you saw that going around, but not as much. Yeah, because of that this seems whole, to be uh, pandemic thing. Yeah. I mean, kind of the biggest conversation that even goes outside of, uh, you know, art school is just that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people who very understandably don't want to pay the same tuition for less, you classes. know, online classes. And yeah. you know, yeah. not that I mean, like I, I've taken online classes. I don't think there's anything wrong with them, mm-hmm. but they are typically cheaper for a reason. Yes. Yeah. You know, they they you can't be as involved um you know or it's certainly a lot harder and a lot of these curriculums are like not made for that in the first yeah. place so like there's a lot of like know. it's not just like animation or like uh stuff you can do on a computer it's like a lot of it's like hands-on studio work like like you're a textile artist or a sculptor or uh like an architect major like a lot of that you can't just you don't get the same experience doing mm-hmm. on an online class mm-hmm. so yeah, like you're definitely people... getting ripped off mm-hmm. yeah some people also just like function better and learn better yeah in uh, in person environment and um part of the experience that you pay for for going to college is like being on campus being around mm-hmm. people your age making new friends and like also networking is a big deal yeah. like mm-hmm. a big part of it like people you know and like where your peers in college go on to do things and like work in the industry yeah. and now you have a network so you know like you're kind of missing out on that part of it so mm-hmm. you know i it's it's kind of shitty to be guilted into like you know participating in something that is a, like less than the experience you yeah. want um yeah it would have been nice if scat had also included like stats uh, for the other side you know like yeah. it just seemed very very biased of like trying to guilt right. so if they had done that i don't know that like this would have blown up in their yeah. face like this or also, if there's, um, you know, if tuition was not the same price, because they yeah. were like, yeah. just saying, <laughs> exactly. hey, yeah. we understand. Uh, but that, I mean, that could also allow them to open up classes larger than normal, possibly. Like, they don't mm-hmm. have to worry about fitting mm-hmm. everybody on the campus. Which maybe maybe then you spread the cost, you know, like lower across right. the board amongst more people. You know, they're still making the same amount of money. So I don't know. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's college is just so weird yeah. in the United States. Um, I, yeah. 
I think when you have, especially specifically art college, it's kind of like a discourse that never ends. Um, yeah. Especially as the internet kind of develops too. I, I think, I feel like we're all in agreement that we understand that there are, um, there are resources out there to get you to the skill level you need mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. order to get the job you want in a creative field you kind of just have to find them and gauge whether or not it's worth your time and money yeah um, yeah and i think every older person you will talk to who's in the industry will always say oh my god the internet is a godsend why are you not taking advantage yeah. of mm -hmm. this like there's so many new things all these classes and stuff um but I will say from personal experience, I feel like with art school and art college, what you take from it is what you get. Mm -hmm. um, that's yeah, that you, I feel like that's for that's for like school in general. Yeah, yeah I feel like exactly like if you if people are or how do I put it? Um, I feel like I put a lot of effort in my experience to put myself out there and talk to as many people as I could. And that has helped me go on the career path that I have. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's that that gave me the skills that I needed. Just talk do to you, both Aaron and Issa, do you mm -hmm. feel like what you learned in class was worth it for like, you know, four years after the fact, you're ready and prepared to enter the industry with like very small learning curve for like what it's like working in a studio and stuff. Did you feel prepared from your uh, degree? Aaron, you go first. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I'm I see the argument for both sides. Personally, like I had a great time at SCAD and mm -hmm. I know like a lot of the things I learned could have been learned online, but again, like Jordan was saying, like there's something about sitting down in a classroom with a professor and having like that one on one time, like it just sticks so much better for me. Mm -hmm. Um and plus just like art school is such a different experience from like high school. Like, this was the first time I really bonded with, like, like-minded people and, mm. like, felt like I was part of, like, like, I had a friend group. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The nerds. Yeah, the nerds. <laughs> um, but they were all nerds. <laughs> all of us. Yeah, so, yeah. like, uh, and there was definitely, like, experiences where, like, uh, I wouldn't have gotten out of art school. Uh, like, we had, um, like, representatives from, like, uh, Blizzard or Pixar or, like, Target. Mm -hmm. Like, all these different huge companies would come to SCAD and like network with us. Um, and I don't know how I would do that outside without like yeah, yeah. being a little shit and like emailing like whoever I could find <laughs> and be like, give me job, please. Yeah, I, that, but, that, so. is, that is something that they say like, or especially when you're talking about art school, that is something that you have to consider about the school that you're applying for is, do you get that, those connections? Yeah. Um, do you yeah. get those network connections? Um, would you say your degree was worth it? Aaron, I would say so. Yeah, nice. I think I think it was like I, again, I maybe I was just lucky and got like really great professors, but mm -hmm. yeah, like that's really. So all. I mean, in general, <laughs> uh, we, would you say because I mean we were talking about kind of scat at the beginning of this like, were, were you you were you were happy with your experience at scat? Yeah, yeah, overall. Okay, okay. Like there's definitely like another thing going back to the guilt tripping aspect of their email. It is uh, the only like negative part uh, to me is really like uh, it is a for profit school, obviously. Yeah. True. But they do hold you to a really high standard of like you need to get this work done. Um, and like I've definitely had like experiences where I'm like gonna have a mental breakdown because I'm trying to get all this like all of my assignments done on time. Mm -hmm. And I know it's not just me. Like I know tons of students like just go through the hardest times mm -hmm. like trying to get stuff done and for them to be like oh well uh if you're planning on taking this semester off like maybe don't do it because yeah. you might not graduate yeah. it's like oh god that's another thing like, yeah. i don't know it just it doesn't that part doesn't sit right with me yeah that's yeah. a very so i don't point. blame people wanting to take time off especially like at a time like this yeah yeah you know, where you're getting ripped off essentially right right that's a very good point. It's yeah. especially since we know so many people who are from SCAD, um, who mm -hmm. work with us in the company, and we know like they they've had their own experiences, and this is definitely like, oh, you maybe you should like go out the human element for a bit here, kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. Right. And especially not like a one answer for all. Like everybody's going to have a different experience. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. That's true. That's definitely yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. It really depends on who you ask and like yeah. what their experience was and what they feel like they got out of it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I will say like the other side of it I saw on Twitter was, um, I think it was like an, somebody that worked on, um, oh crap, I can't remember the game now, but uh, it was a professional on Twitter saying, hey, keep in mind a lot of these studios overseas, if you want to yes. apply there, you might have to have yeah, like that. a college degree. Yeah. So that's, that's another thing. That's, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's an interesting stuff. part yeah. of it. Yeah. I mean, one thing I was going to say is, uh, you know, working um at a company and being part of a hiring process and looking at mm. like candidates and stuff oh god yes i very rarely look at college and stuff like that mm. if you have a reel in a portfolio that is usually all they care about yeah so yeah, I, I that's feel another like the, thing to keep in mind the the most information that we've ever gotten this is just in my personal experience of like finding out that somebody where somebody went to college has just been us going like oh hey they cool. went to scat too yeah. Like, yeah that was like that's it you know like mm -hmm. it uh not just not to devalue it it's just it really does come back to it's what you get out of it mm -hmm. yeah and i think that especially in this field you're gonna get a lot further if you don't just do what you do at school but you also learn past that exactly yeah. Yeah. and mm -hmm. experience make experiences past that so yeah, yeah. You know, I. I mean, the 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 yeah. quality of somebody's work, you know, in a in a in a reel or something like, you know, say two people both went to college and they both have degrees, like that doesn't mean they're going to be the same quality of work yeah, and stuff. Definitely. Like, right. they their experience and what they got out of it is different, and therefore, you know, like if one person who didn't go to school sent us in a resume and a reel and it was really good, and one person who did have a degree sent us a reel and it was just okay. And we had to choose between them. Mm -hmm. Like we would probably go with the person who has demonstrated that they can pr uh, produce quality work. Yeah. They can yeah. finish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In conclusion, fuck school, but also fuck school. Oh, mm. one or the other. Interesting. <laughs> one of these things is not like the other. And there's only two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. um, I did want to segue into how I did ask the audience for some topics to talk about. You um, thank you, audience. This is something. Thank you, audience. This is something we want to hit um, uh, very frequently. So, you know, if you guys have any notes, you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, um, comment on the website or uh, the other links. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, I and this more. is this is how you can be on the show. This is the closest oh. you'll ever get. Hell yeah. We'll I'm acknowledge your existence. We'll read out your name, possibly. <laughs> oh, we'll definitely read out that name. Oh, read we'll come out. come with a cool name. backstory. If it'll be correct, I don't know, but we'll do our, yeah. our best. <laughs> do our best. <laughs> so uh, let's roll on to this first one then. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Sunflower Power Girl asks, I have an idea for something you could talk about in the next podcast. Hey, what up? What's, what's one of one? your favorite scenes you've animated and what's something you wish you could go back and redo? Go mm. back and redo. Well, first off, I'm not an animator, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Yes. Aaron, what's what's your favorite thing you've animated? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> the amount a... of times either people within the company or outside of the company have referred to me as an animator, like, ugh. I know just it's just like this weird <laughs> blanket term. Yeah, we're like, well, like it's it's tough because we're the animation department. Yeah. So then yeah. it makes sense. But I guess we don't call them like live actioners. Yeah. <laughs> not, yeah, not yet. That sounds derogatory. What's your, what's your favorite thing you've ever live actioned? <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, hey, I, Michael, I are you a gamer? <laughs> gamer is right. Have, it could apply to anything we've worked on because like. Yeah, yeah I know. But... I'm just being a shithead. <laughs> you heard it here. Chaos. <laughs> Let's... I need to think about this for a second. If somebody else wants to go first. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Lisa, you're an actual animator. <laughs> yes. I mean, <laughs> off the bat, I can, it's, it's, it's just a classic, like me identity thing with Rooster Teeth and Camp Camp. My favorite thing to animate was Max crying. At the end. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa season, likes to see little boys cry. Yeah. Little boys cry. Yeah, was it was two. season two finale? Yep. Yeah. Um, that part where he, it's that close up and David, um, 
you the folder goes away from the screen and you see Max crying and he like wipes his um wipes his eye with his shoulder because Mm -hmm. he's tearing up and it's just like oh man (laughs) sometimes you just look at your own work and you go i crushed it (laughs) (laughs) that's a good energy to have i like that uh this is a very small thing from back in my like effects and compositing time uh when uh when i was working on season 10 of red versus blue i started getting into like 3d effects like i was teaching myself through like weird tutorials I found online and stuff. And uh, I made like a grenade explosion that I thought looked awesome. And it was like the first time, like everyone's team was like, yeah, that looked great. Let's do more of those. And I was like, I did it. Yay. Um, <laughs> Adorable. That was like, I just, that, that was one of the few things I've done. Cause I, I, I'm one of those people I hate everything I do. That's like one of the few things uh, I've been like, yeah, that looked rad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, there are like ones that I definitely like and like, I'm definitely proud of Camp Camp in general, especially like that season two finale, I think is like probably one mm. of our best episodes, yeah. like from <laughs> Chef's the entire, the entire package. Like it was like, so like we had so many ideas for it and then um, like playing around in the animation and like designing the, the, oh, yeah. all the new characters and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like all of that was just so much fun. Um, but as far as like going back and redoing stuff, like there isn't anything that like pops up into my head, but like, there are times where like we'll watch something and I'll just be like, eh, this could have been done a little differently or like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, or like, you know, like that was just like, uh, oh, we ran out of time. It could have been better kind of yeah. thing, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Th- like there's a lot of that. In, yeah. In I feel working. like most artists feel that way about their own work. Yeah. I yeah. Like nothing, own. nothing actually is done. It's just like, yeah. Yeah, it's completed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you have a deadline. To- yeah. Yeah. I definitely yeah. like, yeah, I can't really, there's nothing that I would want to go back to and fix like a specific thing, like a specific mm. shot or like, a, like I like, you know, the idea of doing like a, a, like a remaster or like a reimagining or something like that could be interesting. Cause it's new mm. in a way, but I'm, I'm very much like, look that, you know, that looked and was the way it was because that's where I was in my career and timeline experience. And now yeah. this you is going to look like this, you know? Okay. Nice. I, I just it, dwelling too much. I think it's just like yeah, not good. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah, learning and then there's dwelling. You know. Yeah. yeah, you and you can't just keep spinning the wheels of like production yeah. and until like you're satisfied because you'll never be satisfied. So like that's why yeah. deadlines and like air dates exist <laughs> Max, <yeah. laughs> and producers are there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you feel the same way about um your work, Aaron? Oh yeah, definitely. Like um. Let's see, what's my, I feel like uh, more, it's more of like a sentimental thing, but the thing I'm like most happy with, or like that I have fondest memories of are um, Crow's Scythe from Ruby. Oh. Um, just because that was like, I, the Monty had worked on it. Um, mm-hmm. And then I kind of took up the reins and finished it. Um, and I hope I did it justice. Um, I so, think you did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and as far as, far as stuff I could redo, Oh god, like any of the characters I've done for like volume three, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I was like fresh out of college. Like they're still like very near and dear to my heart because it's like the first right. assets I worked on here. Uh... But I was fresh out of college and like my like visual library wasn't like up to speed yet or up to par. Um yeah. so it's like, uh, I like them, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't. Even, oh man, this year is actually both aired in my um, fifth year, five year anniversary. <gasps> it is. Oh my Mr. goodness. Yeah. So I was gonna say it's like, oh man, yeah, Aaron, you've grown five years for, since then. So oh, I'm thank sure you. And you have to. Mutual <laughs> 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 cry. Um, I, you know, there's the first thing that popped in my head about going back and redoing. Uh, honestly, was um, episode sixteen of the of the latest season of Camp Camp because that was the um episode oh, i directed yeah. for uh campbell and pris uh the bottle episode oh. and i i was in a, i was definitely in a weird place at that time because i think i was like i saw the finish line but i think i felt like i dropped the ball so hard by then and i'm i don't know it's one of those things i think maggie tried to um Maggie, our, our, our supervised producer, would uh, try to comfort me, but I'm also like, I don't know. I just felt like I could have done better. Oh, Lisa, <laughs> Lisa, it was great. <laughs> well, I remember, th- I remember that one being so frustrating because we always have this dumb idea that 
uh, in animation, a bottle episode or an episode that takes place in one location is going to be simpler when <laughs> in fact they are the most complicated ones because yeah. you have to be aware of them in the space and the continuity and the blocking. And we did it in X-Ray and Vav, uh season two. And I don't know why we didn't learn our lesson. Um, <laughs> well, and sometimes you also like the, the ideas or the actions that are happening are then heightened because you're trying to compensate for the fact that it's in yeah. one location. Yeah. 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 So it becomes so, like that much. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, I didn't envy you working on that episode, Issa. <laughs> no, I came to you with all my problems. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, and we, like that it's one real. was also like it uh, um had like a longer runtime. We had to cut stuff, so like yeah. that was tricky. That that was my biggest learning um learning episode where I was like, oh okay, I have I actually actively have to start writing down notes. Like I mm -hmm. can't just depend on my memory. Like mm -hmm. Jordan, you're pretty great at that. You kind of just remember things off the top of your head. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Jordan's like, what can I say? Why can't? <laughs> well, well, also like my stuff that I have to remember isn't as complicated as like where the like uh, positioning of the background item is in relation to where they were earlier in the episode so i don't blame you for like i've had to like um in the oh uh, was it a season two episode the one uh with, with uh bunquisha and david turns out they were dating oh, yeah. season yes. i think that was season, yeah. Two. Yeah, um, season two um but uh that whole scene in the restaurant like we had to i had to <sighs> go do overheads and like block out the restaurant and how it works and like where the camera is for each shot and stuff and like oh yeah i remember sitting <laughs> next to you for that <laughs> that's something that's complicated it was interesting too because it's like that's why well, I, I this is me i don't know enough about the 2d process but it's like that's what we do for like a lot of the scenes in 3d yeah yeah but that's actually for some reason it feels easier to do that from the 3d side but I'll bet it's actually easier. Yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, it's they're very different processes. Yeah, it really is. I think I for me, my perception of the benefit with you guys is at least you can put a camera there, and then it stays there, yeah. as opposed to us asking the artists to like make another angle and they have to do it from scratch. And it's just like, oh god. Yeah. See the <laughs> yeah, yeah so the sorry. the thing with uh like three D is like you can build the environment and then you have you know the space to play with and you can put the camera wherever you want the camera yeah. needs to be placed in 2d so much earlier in the process so that you know so that the artist knows like here's the background i then need to draw i have to draw yeah, every one yeah. of each shot is a background that i have to draw if unless yeah. we're reusing it um we, we can wait a lot longer in the process to to, to yeah. finalize some of that mm. stuff yeah <laughs> solution we all have to learn sketchup <laughs> <laughs> the, the SketchUp's actually thing... not that hard yeah that's right yeah the overheads thing is interesting because when we worked with uh, Paula uh, on mm. Nomad of Nowhere, Nomad of Nowhere. Um, she kind of brought that uh, from the her three D experience doing overheads. So she provided a lot of like blocking and camera assistance for the animators in two D when she directed. Uh, I believe she directed the last two episodes of Nomad season one. Yeah, and uh, she's a director on on Ruby and Ruby Chibi. Um, mm -hmm. So she she was able to bring some some handy experience. So that's why I like getting other directors in there with mm -hmm. different skill sets also helps yeah. uh, us yeah. learn too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cross pollination. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're we're learning each other's <laughs> skills and stuff. It's cool. <laughs> it's uh, fun. None of this has to do with the original question though, so we, we got a little off topic. But <laughs> that's uh, a different podcast. <laughs> that's a different. Who are they? Yeah. <laughs> what? Don't worry about the stuff in the past. Move forward. Learn from it, <laughs> oh, but then apply it to go. the next thing. That's what nice. I say. Good summary. Unless it's really yeah. bad, then fix it. <laughs> Valid point. Valid point. Then CBB. Like an apology film. Oh, could be better. Yeah, could be better. Could be better. Yeah. Uh, uh, any more cool. questions? Yeah. Do we, we have time for more? Let's let's do let's do one more real quick, and then we can wrap it up one for one today. All right. Hoo -hoo. Okay. Is there an easy way to separate? I have this concept, but I need to rework it until it fits and flows well the project I'm working on. And that concept will never fit with what I'm working on. Back to the drawing board to start from scratch from Kelsey. All right. Well, that's this is a whole nother episode. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Time. I mean, we kind of started touching upon it. Oh, like, right. there's definitely a point where you have to like look at it and be like, all right, 
I gotta just call it done because there's deadlines. Uh, and we gotta get this out. Um, yeah. Even if you're not totally happy with it. Or like, yeah, I have I have an idea of a really cool way I want to do this thing, uh, but does that fit in with our timeline and schedule mm -hmm. and everything? Um, like, I have had ideas for things I've wanted to do, and like been e able to easily apply it just because like you know like oh i just learned about this cool new technique or something i'm gonna you know mm -hmm. on this next mm -hmm. thing i'm working on let's see if i can do it um and sometimes it works but other times it's like oh this is not the production to do that in yeah um also apply so uh i think i think the short answer to this question is like your producer will let you know <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess also like learning how to compromise with like both yourself and like directors and other yeah. artists. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, compromise is, is the is the spice of making a production work. <laughs> Just kidding. It's much. the secret oh, sauce. <laughs> secret. That's a pretty good one. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to. I'm gonna write that in in cursive. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that there needs to be like a up like mounted on the wall like. A, oh yeah, live laugh love. Um, yeah, uh, I guess from, from like the 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 writing side, because um, it's funny because we're we're working on an outline right now, and we were talking about this how something similar happened in volume eight where I I think that it's important in an early on in like the writing process to not get too hung up on idea, mm. um, and get too, to be like too married to an idea. Yeah, or yeah. Like, like I, it's yeah. really easy to early in just be like, oh, that's awesome. Let's do that. And then yeah. everything else you do yeah. has, has to, to work be with this. that. But this idea is so cool. Yeah, it has right. to work. Yeah. Whereas oh, like we, there a million we found, times. yeah, we're, oh, I think we found that like, if you, you bring up that you like an idea, you talk about it, you also explore other things. And really what it comes down to is the better idea you'll come back to. Yeah. yeah. Like ah. if it was really worth it in the beginning, you'll come back to it. But because you took that journey and explored it, now you know that it really is the better idea. That's so true, I wouldn't yeah. say that you should scrap ideas, but I think you should be willing to scrap them. Yeah. In okay. order to fall in love with them again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good point. You know, always keep always keep your ideas somewhere because you never yeah. know when you could actually have the opportunity to use them. Take pick your favorite pocket on your pants, and that's where you put <laughs> ideas, and you'll be like, hey, I'll be back for you later. Uh, and maybe you won't, but maybe you will. Yeah, there's that's a quick answer. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I've definitely like gone through, like as a character or concept artist. Um, like I've definitely gone through characters where it's like I love this design, like on my first try. Um, but then just for the sake of having other options for directors, I'll start working on new ones and be like, oh no, this was like way better than like that mm -hmm. poopy one I did first. So the yeah, the or it'll one. be so obvious that it was like, oh yeah, it was eight yeah, yeah, it was that or, first yeah, one. Yeah. It's absolutely, yeah. you know, Definitely. but always about the journey. Yeah, sometimes you have to see what isn't working to know what is working. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, well, cool. Thanks for good coming, short answer. Guys. Yeah, great answer. <laughs> thanks for having us. Yeah. yeah, we'll have more questions for now or for later. For now, oh. <laughs> lightning round. <laughs> it is the day. No, no. <laughs> Well, thanks everyone for uh, watching and or listening. I have notes. Um, be sure to subscribe uh, so you can uh, so you can find uh, when the next episode is coming out. <laughs> I don't have Please. a script. I work so much better with a script. It's okay. Please We're on like notes. This. Use a script next time. Rich yeah. first. We're on Spotify. We're on iTunes. We're on YouTube. Uh, probably some Google thing. Uh, find us. Please share us with your friends if you would like. If you like it. Uh, we like talking about creative stuff and we hope you do too. And yeah, keep sending us questions and we'll talk about those. Um, or if, or if, you, if you have ideas for yeah. topics for like the whole episode, we can talk about that. So yeah. Uh, be safe. Have a great week. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Everybody.